I want you to leave me a comment so I know what your big takeaway, what the thing was that you learned from this talk tonight. But thirdly, I want you to share this. And that's probably one of the more important things is to simply allow your friends to experience what this information rises for them. What it holds for them that will allow them to make better choices and better decisions so that hopefully, you know, unlike many I have to say, they're not in that critical condition where they've allowed their body to run so far out of control. So with that being said, let's jump into this. I love this picture. I love this picture. As you grow older, if you don't move, you won't move. I love this because in the end, it allows for each and every one of us to recognize the personal level of accountability that we have. It's a choice. That old adage, if you don't use it, you'll lose it, is absolutely true. And this is not a chiropractic thing. There are these really cool guys that actually do all that work in order to understand bone density. So there is no argument. If you sit in the chair and you don't put stress through bone, guess what? It withers. Now, for many of you, you might have heard of an astronaut. Well, many of us also realize that because we know what astronauts are, do, are doing in space, besides all the experiments, they are working out constantly to not only exercise their muscle, but also to put stress through the bone so that they don't use it. See, our muscles and bones happen to be living tissue. And Wolf's Law is that thing that rules. In fact, it describes how bone grows and it changes over time. And depending upon the demands that you put into the bone, it's going to drive the bone to grow in different ways. Now, again, just like the astronaut, there's a reason why they're working out like crazy. While they're, they have protocols and regimens, but even with that, because they've removed gravity from their environment, well, unfortunately, they lose a tremendous amount of bone density while they're up there. Now, full salt, yeah, it doesn't care whether you're here on this earth or up in space. It's either working to your benefit or it's creating problems for you. And this is Julius Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Uh, you're going to notice this picture demonstrates this is not this is not a young guy. This is not like a newbie around the block. Okay, this law of nature, just like gravity, has been around for a tremendous amount of time. Our skeleton is constantly changing. You know, many, many of us think of the skeleton, the bones, as just simply, you know, this hard thing, this rigid thing that's inside of our body that it's always there, it's unchanging. Well, oh no. Bone is being broken down and replaced on a continual basis inside of our body, inside of each and every one of you. As you're sitting there, it is going through changes. And we do things to ourselves that produce some of those changes. Some of them pro producing positive changes, other things like, like drinking milk or soda that produce damaging changes to that bone density. Now, when stress is applied to our bones, they model and they change to adapt to that stress. And that's hugely important because oftentimes as we think about stress, you know, we think about just the, the mental and the emotional stresses. Well, we're talking about those physical stresses, that downward pressure that's placed by gravity onto our bone. You know, the thing that with every single step, your body, those bones have to absorb the stress because of having pressure coming up through your system. Bone is laid down where it is needed and reabsorbed where it's not. This is an incredibly important part of this conversation. And I want you to read that again. Bone is laid down where it is needed and it is reabsorbed where it's not. This is driven by your innate intelligence. See, we oftentimes think of everything being under our conscious control. And this is where I have to remind you of the 
power that's within your body. Because that power that made you is the same power that runs you and it's the same power that commands the body in order to heal. Now here's the thing. If your innate intelligence recognizes that you're doing things and it needs more bone density, it needs to create a wider base, it needs to create more stability, oh, it's gonna do exactly that. If it recognizes that there is something there that it doesn't need anymore, it's gonna reabsorb it. It's gonna actually pull it back in and redistribute that bone, that calcium, to other areas of the body. See, the amazing thing is that your inborn intelligence does that without you thinking about it. That innate intelligence does it all on its own because your brain, being that master system of your body, knows exactly how to drive the balance that's necessary to continue your body to function. Now, sadly, you know, when our posture is distorted, when we have things that are out of place, yeah, we're asking the body to do things that it wasn't designed to do, but your body's gonna make sure that, well, it's being protected. So it's that short-term gain, the protection that it allows you, but ultimately, ultimately it leads you to a long-term loss. So what does that mean for you? Let's make it this really, really practical, all right? So, here's the deal. When we change the loading or the weight on the bones, guess what happens? Things like our, our, you know, our, our hips, our knees, our joint, or the different joints in our low back, it results in degeneration. Our body was never dis designed to have excess stress and pressure, so, well, listen, you know, you use something in a way it's not supposed to, it's gonna wear down, it's gonna degenerate more quickly. And in fact, well, Guess what? When your body dis dis determines that that's what you're doing, it decides that it is going to, because of that increase in pressure, it's gonna put more bone there. Now, there's a common name for this, which many of you have probably heard of before, and that's arthritis. Oh, now this conversation for some of you have probably, it's become a little bit real. Oh, I know I have arthritis. For some of you, you have arthritis in that low back of yours. Others, it's arthritis in your neck or your hips or your knees or your elbows or your hands. See, sadly, Wolf's Law has been applying itself to your body and you didn't even know what was happening. See, Wolf's Law doesn't care about, you know, who we are what our vocation is, who doesn't care about how old we are, all it knows is that if our body is not balanced, if our body is, is out of equilibrium, it is going to take effect on us, and like our keys, every single time, it's gonna have the same exact outcome. See, sadly, you know, we have a choice, and, and the choice is very simple, is we can allow the body to go through this process. This process describes how it is that your body remodels over time. All the different effects that happen in the neck as you know those bones, those, 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 the, the bones come out of place, that that changes your posture. It creates the, the joints actually not moving properly, that subluxation. And in turn, allowing for things like the arthritis to form, the breakdown ultimately in the disc because it dehydrates, because the joints aren't pumping the nutrients back into it. See, your body doesn't care, but it's gonna walk through this process regardless. Ignorance is not bliss. It's gonna happen every single time. And in the end, I recognize even with this little bit of knowledge, the choice is up to each and every one of us. See, knowledge without implementation is only gonna lead to frustration and depression. See, the sad thing is, is that no ignorance is not bliss. But because we know, we have a 
choice. And that's really why, you know, the big thing for tonight is me posing this question for you. What are you going to do about it? See, as a chiropractic patient, you've seen your x-rays. You know what phase of spinal degeneration your body's in. You know where you're at. If you don't know, ask so that we can review this information. Make sure that you're you're inquiring of us so that we can actually point out, you know, whether you're in, you know, phase one of spinal degeneration where the bones just come simply have come out of place, you've lost your posture, but you know, sort of like your teeth, they could be migrating all the way back to where they're supposed to be. Or in phase two, where you start to see some of that degenerative change, the arthritis, the breakdown in the disc, the wearing down. But it hasn't gone on so long that, you know, there's there's damaged tissues that oftentimes are going to be, well, chronically damaged beyond repair. Because in phase three, oh yeah, it looks like a mess. Because you've created the mess. You've allowed it to get to that point. And in turn, you know, ultimately, if, you've, if we've ignored it long enough, the bones are just simply going to come together. And Nate is going to bring all that bone structure together so that it's able to fuse. So that in its mind, if you can't move it, you can't hurt it. That's Wolf's Law. See, if we allow Wolf's Law to, to take its effect, well, then guess what? We know what the outcome is going to be. Don't brush your teeth. In time, we know what's going to happen. The tooth is going to rot, it's going to decay, and eventually, the tooth is going to be falling out. Everything happens to be a choice. Now, as a chiropractic patient, if you choose to do what you're supposed to do, which is making sure that you're doing your spinal exercises in order to help to rebalance muscles that have been weakened because of not being, not being maintained properly, utilizing your, your tractioning device to actually reform the curvatures in your spine once again to bring them back to that nice and balanced position so that your spine is structurally strong so that it's able to pump fluid in and out of the discs and so that the joints are able to move properly. This enables you that opportunity to get the most out of every single adjustment because just like a stool, those three components, just like three legs of a stool, it allows you to have that great balance that pushes your body forward more quickly, getting you back to that optimal level of spinal function. So in turn, I recognize that really, the knowledge of Wolf's Law allows you to make that conscious choice of whether you're going to do your part to make sure that your body is being uplifted and being maintained to the best way that you possibly can. Because the remarkable thing is that even though there's arthritis there today, if that spine of yours is in a straight line from behind, if those 45 to 60 degree curves are there in your spine, we know Wolf's Law is going to then desire to reabsorb those, that arthritis reabsorb those calcium deposits, smooth things out for you and aid the body in restoring that normal bliss that you once had. Now under the worst case scenario where you're not able to get all the way back to that optimal position, well, let me tell you, something at that point is better than nothing because it's gonna significantly slow down that level of spinal degeneration, the arthritis that's there, the closer you're able to get it to that optimal level. And that's why your spinal adjustments are so important. Because I realize for some of you, the ability to restore all the way back to 100% is not very great. And the reality is, is with those spinal adjustments, it allows for you to maintain the best possible position for that longest period of time. Now here's the thing, you've just been empowered. Now you know. You might not have known the name before, 
maybe you have forgotten about the fact that you have those final exercises, the tractioning to do. For some of you that are new to chiropractic, maybe you haven't gotten to the point where you've gotten those exercises or your, your tractioning device yet. If that's the case, make sure that you're asking next time you're in. But I'm gonna encourage you. As this workshop is coming to an end, I want you to sit back and I want you to think about those questions that this has stirred up for you. I want you to put them into the comment section. For some of you, you, in the comment section, you might also tag somebody that needs to know what you know that they have not heard about yet. I want you to like this video, make sure that you leave me a comment, and most importantly, hit that share button. Hit it because in the end, we don't know how far reaching this information is gonna to be to somebody else. To help them get unstuck so that they're able to do what you've already done, to go get checked. I love the fact that we have the opportunity of referring to other chiropractic offices. So if you know somebody that needs to get checked, do me a favor, let me know so that we can help them get connected with another office that may be able to help them just simply understand how their spine is functioning. I'm Dr. Joseph Baker from the Limer Chiropractic Center.